Now our next two SMI sources are just being covered because of their interestingness for if someone had malware running in SMM, they would give them interesting capabilities. So the next one is the FSMIE bit, which fires whenever a flash cycle is done. So on a big list of SMIs, scroll on down and you find the spy command completed and there's no additional enables and it's recorded in the spy status. Now I should say at this point that I'm not actually super 100% sure that this is what actually corresponds to FSMIE. This is just the closest thing I could find. I think if it does correspond to FSMIE, then this should probably say that the FSMIE bit uh, is an additional enable, but you know, whatever. So when I say that this is kind of, you know, the closest I can find to something that I think is the right status for the FSMIE bit, that's because this spy status thing says this bit will be set if the spy logic is generating an SMI, which will be the case for FSMIE. So it is bit 26 of the spy status, reg or sorry, SMI status register, which is found at PM base plus 34. So once again, power management base, it's going to be some port IO base of a variable port IO address range and offset 34 will be this register. Now, what is FSMIE? Well, this is a bit that if you were looking at the you know full definitions of those SPI registers before, you might have seen it. It is the hardware sequencing of flash control register, bit 15, and it's read write, and it says when set to one, the SPI asserts an SMI whenever the flash cycle done bit is one. So this essentially means that you know you cause a flash transaction like we saw before we we you know showed you how you could do a sequence of events that would lead to a valid read or write flash transaction and then the hardware once it's done getting the data or writing the data it sets f done equal to one to say you know i'm done now but what this says is if this bit was set when the flash cycle starts then when the flash cycle is done it's going to actually fire off an smi and so before the code executing on the operating system on the main CPU uh, is able to actually go and check, you know, it may be polling on the done bit, but before it even has an opportunity to successfully see that the done bit is set, an SMI is going to fire off. And that means code running in SMM, which could be malware, will have the first opportunity to look at the contents of the flash registers and fix them up if there's something they don't like there. So let's go back to our animation from before of writing to the flash chip, but now we'll assume that FSMIE is set and that malware exists in SMM. So the CPU says go on a flash transaction and the magic happens and the CPU continues to read the hardware sequencing flash status register to see if it's done yet. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Now enter in the happy little elves down in the PCH and if the hardware sequencing flash done is set, and if the HSFC control FSMIE bit is set, then when the done happens, it's going to fire a system management interrupt. The CPU will go into system management mode, and now if there's a SMM monster in the middle, Smitem, who's residing in SMRAM, they get the first opportunity to see the contents of the flash data registers. And they can, for instance, say, if I see that you're reading from the flash address where I know that I'm keeping my evil data to persist in SMM across reboots, then I can just clean it up and put any sort of innocuous data and you'll be none the wiser. I'll resume. You will get back code execution, but you will be seeing manipulated data instead of the actual data coming from the flash chip. So here be dragons, uh, you can learn more about Smitem and the TXT based countermeasure at this talk. So I had to cite this, there's a different one. So this is actually a later talk where first we talked about, hey, there's this attack Smitem working, you know, men in the middle, your access to the spy flash chip. And then we talked about TXT to defend against it. And later on, I talked about how TXT could actually be used for SMI suppression, as you'll be learning about in a little bit. But because the original talk doesn't have the nice proper Smitem diagrams and stuff in there, this one is the better one to look at. And just FYI, since I'm bringing it up, uh, there was a censored chunk of documentation from Intel Confidential Documentation about TXT and how it worked that I had to censor in this diagram. But later on, that documentation got released. So 
uh, you can check this tweet where I show how the slides should have really looked.